Hi guys, now if you're anything like I was before I went full EV, you get to the stage where you've done your research, you think yeah mileage, off-road parking, I've got that all sorted, I think I can definitely make it work, especially if you've got another car in your household so it doesn't ultimately matter, uh, but then you hit a bit of a pause because you don't really know what it's like to live with on a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes that's the most important thing. Now it's very difficult to get across to people what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis other than saying it's just a car ultimately that you're plugging at home. So I thought, let's do a video about it. This is basically a week in the life of an EV. And yes, it's as exciting as it sounds. Although I have included such gems as this. What you do to me? Now who wouldn't want to see me singing on camera? That alone should be enough to make you want to watch this video. Now remember guys, I've got over 100 videos in my channel, so if you have got any questions about EVs, I've probably already done a video about it. So click the subscribe button and enjoy this enthralling video. Right, Monday morning, early, too early. Start of the week, before I stick that on the windscreen, I'll just show you there. 79 percent Monday morning, 33,037 miles, so let's see what I've done by the end of the week. Oh no, it's cold, however will I survive by putting this heater on in the electric car, which ooh, reduces my range so much. Now don't worry, it's not going to be basically a video about me going to work and my wife, it's just going to be a quick overview. The reason why I'm showing each day is because you have to prove everything on YouTube, otherwise people don't believe you. Right, and I'm going to have my breakfast breadstick. Mmm, it's good. This is what happens if you film a YouTube video in the morning. Instead of breakfast. Mmm, yeah, nutritious. People have this impression that you have to have everything off on an EV without severely reducing your range. And it's just not the case. So this might seem mundane stuff, but everything right now is on. The uh, rear window demister, because it's misted up, is on. The heater's on. My lights are still on, even though they're set to automatic. The uh, Bluetooth's on. Basically, everything is on right now, and it doesn't make a difference. I'm not driving in eco mode either. I mean, normal, non-eco mode, for whatever, whatever you call it. Now, I don't have a typical commute. I go to at least two places a day, and they could be quite different. In fact, I could randomly get sent to the other side of Leeds, potentially. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, my wife will be using the car after I get home. So two people use this car for commuting in. Need to make sure all songs I pick are cool ones, especially if they're on camera. Why do people do that? I'm at a merging turn bit, and then when you just get to the start of this merging turn bit, people indicate left and just stop waiting to turn in. Just, just merge in turn. Come on, love, what do you want, an invitation? Oh, you're welcome. Ignorant. Dance me a dance, joke me a joke, and blow the crowds away. Right, I'm here, 20 miles later. Don't worry, I won't be doing this for the entire week. I won't be saying, I've done X miles, then X miles, then X miles, then X miles. I'll just kind of do today and then skim through the rest so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like for the full commute in an EV. Oh God, I do some interesting videos, do I? I even amaze myself sometimes. <laughs> Believe it or not, a lot of people do ask this though. They are curious as to what it's like to, to own one and this is the best way I can think to show people. Right, that one's done. Next, hear yeah, me. Is it here today? Right, so I've got 50% left on the battery. I've done 24 miles so far. And according to this, it's, to the highlighted it's only a few miles to the next one. And then in theory, after that, I could go home. Now I can enjoy the traffic laden roads of Bradford to drive all the way home. Back to nice, uh, sunny North Yorkshire, hopefully. Here we are, home again. Right, I've done uh, about 46 and a half miles. The car is still on 29%, and remember I sat off with, what, 80% or something like that? I've had everything on, I'm nice and comfortable. I've had 
lots of heating, all that sort of stuff. So no problems at all. This time tomorrow, I'll be getting out of the car, she'll be getting in, going straight to work, because we work at different times. But this is where most of our mileage comes from, the fact that we both use it for getting to work and back. I suppose might as well include this arduous task of plugging the car in. Look, I have to lift this flap up here, grab this, and then plug the car in. Ooh, that takes a lot of my time. There we are again. Another dawn, another day. The one thing that's never really mentioned with EVs actually, that's a big bonus, is how quickly the heater starts pumping out heat. Of course you don't have to wait for the engine to heat up to generate that heat to pump into the cabin, so you get heat, I would say within, within less than a minute of turning the car on, or turning the heater on anyway. Anybody else get fed up with the same stuff for lunch? I mean, I have to kind of eat in the car, typically. It's very rare I have access to a microwave or even to be able to sit down on a, a table, but I don't know, I'm just fed up with sandwiches and the same old, same old. Please post in the comments any ideas of, of nice lunches that are easy to make and just different to a bloody sandwich. Just past the uh, Polar 7 kilowatt hour charge post. I don't need to use it, of course, but Sometimes, if for whatever reason I needed to use it, I'll have lunch packed up there. Only for 20 minutes or so, and probably give you about, uh, I don't know, 9% or something like 10% after 20, 25 minutes, but uh, sometimes that's all you need. Oh, here we are again. Now, the difference today is that the missus is going to work in about two minutes. I might as well just leave the car on, to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, 80 miles I've done so far this week. Cars on 69% should be more than enough for the missus. Oh, that's nice. Chocolate in the seat. What? Chocolate in the seat. I know, seat. that's breadcrumbs. I have just got home. I should have said before it was 1.48. When I set off, it's now 2.18. And I was just right. I think I said 25 to 30% and there's 29%. Okay, night night. Car's on 100% of course. It's plugged in all night as usual uh, for during the week. Um, Mon will be working tonight again, so always just leave it plugged in overnight. When it's cheap to charge at night and better for the grid as well. Should be a relatively easier day for the car anyway today because I'm in the office, uh, which is still about I don't know 10, 12 miles each way, but that's fairly straightforward. Yeah, it's, it's quite easy. Well, change of plan, uh, emergency visit. I'm off to the other side of Bradford. Yay! Um, so yes, this is the thing with uh, with my days. It could be a short commute if you like. It could be a very long one. I don't know. So uh, will the EV cope? I, who, who knows? Who knows? At least EVs are brilliant for traffic. You know, you're not wasting anything just sat here or you know, it's not it's not just sat in traffic that I find annoying. It's when you're just creeping forward, especially if you've got a manual gearbox. You know, you go forward a bit, you stop. You go forward a bit, you stop, and it just keeps going and going like that. I have just driven an hour, over an hour, I can't remember, I don't know, 19, 20 miles, to turn something on, because it was off. Oh, we can't use it, it's not working. I've, I've, turned, I've literally gone there and pressed the button. <laughs> so, stop two finish, stop three next, and then there'll be stop four, and then I'll be going home, then my wife will be going to work and going home. So today's a, a big one for Mr. Leaf in commuting terms, but it'll be fine. No problems at all. This entire day will be costing us, in fuel terms anyway, about £1.50 at most. In fact, it'll be less than that, about £1.20. This gets charged at night, uh, and for me, that's 5p per kilowatt hour because it's a time of day tariff. So, £1 odd a day, and I'm doing anywhere from 60 to 100 miles. £1 odd a day. That's why I'm in. An EV. 
it's not for any ecological reasons although I'm all for that it's for financial reasons I save a ton of money by driving around and commuting in this Okay, end of Wednesday for me, start of Wednesday for the missus. Car's on 58%, it's done 163 miles so far this week, and here she is. Hello. Hello, you're hand getting, over you're, time. You're getting in the wrong side, you're getting this side. Yes, I'm being organised and putting my stuff in seeing as there's somebody obstructing my uh, seat that way. Well, I'm uh, doing a, uh, to sound Very uh, important. official, I'm doing a piece to camera here, yes. you're interrupting. Yes, well, that's what happens, you have to be able to uh, react appropriately. Here we are, Thursday morning. The car's done 200 miles pretty much exactly. And of course, another 100% for today. Lorna's working again tonight, so of course it's going to be on 100%, but my mileage today should be, it's going to be quite minimal, I reckon maybe 30 miles if, if that really. Um, so I guess it doesn't need to be on 100% but and it's 2.26 now oh dear me I am tired I'm going to charge the car and go inside and go to sleep because that right now is all I need ok bye bye oh, Friday again yes it's the weekend Oh, the inconvenience of having to unplug my car again. That's another five seconds of walk it back. Da, 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 da. Right, let's get off. 254 miles done so far this week. And uh, today's probably going to be another 40 odd. Lorna's not going back to work uh, today, so in theory it's just today and whatever we do over the weekend, which probably just like town and back and whatnot which will be another 20 30 miles i don't think we're going to be doing anything else in particular i have to excuse the noise but uh, it's bloody freezing so the heat is working overtime to get the car nice and warm because i didn't use the app for those that don't know basically you get your phone out you press a button on it and the car preheats itself to whatever temperature you want it you, you set it to basically in winter this is a godsend because you never have to scrape the car down you never get into a cold car and as it's plugged into the house when you're doing the preheat it only uses a little bit of energy so it's ah ah uh, i can't see manamana manamana -mana. Mana -mana. there's pros and cons you know ev as i've said evs not quite there yet for the for the majority of people but it won't be long we'll get there and think about it just f five years ago even you used to be able to buy a car an ev that does 60 70 miles on average now for the same price you're getting a car that can do 140 150 miles on average so we've pretty much doubled the range for the same price Day you can walk into a let's say a Ford dealership and get a Ford Fiesta electric that's the same price as a Ford Fiesta petrol and similar range is the day people will naturally choose to get an EV. Hey, I'm home, it's Friday, I've finished. Yes, it's the weekend, right? Okay, so the car is done near as damn it 290 miles in fact let me pull this out there we go the car's done 289.1 miles that's monday to friday so that, that's basically a, a typical week for us and um i would say that's longer than most people's commute certainly so this isn't to say look evs are better at commuting certainly cheaper but my point is if an ev suits you you know for example you've got two cars in your household there's no problem getting one for commuting. This is just a normal day-to-day -day thing. And if you're kind of umming and ahhing about getting an EV, hopefully this video will help you in some way um, as to what it's like to live with. It might not be the most exciting video. I will freely admit that one. It's basically me going to work and back and, and my wife as well. Uh, but ultimately, it's uh, it's easy. You know, I'm, I'm spending, what, five, maybe 10 seconds 
plugging the car in at night uh, and unplugging it in the morning. Right, so this week in a car that does 50 miles to the gallon, it would have cost £33.90. I reckon maybe three, four pounds we've spent on electric um, fueling this car for this week for the near 300 miles. It's charged at night, as I've said before, when it's nice and cheap. Um, so yeah, it's basically 10% in terms of fuel costs. That's why I got this car, because of the running costs. We're lucky enough to have another car in the household, so if you want to go on a long journey and don't have to bother about charging or anything like that, we can do. That's where these really shine, the running costs of it. Typically, the purchase cost of an EV is higher than the equivalent petrol, like an e-golf versus a normal golf, but it starts to do that. The more you use it, the cheaper the car gets compared to the petrol equivalent. We do a lot of miles, so it does actually make it cheaper to own this than a new similar size petrol car. So, thank you for watching that. Uh, please subscribe if you can, and as always, thanks for watching. See you soon. I can't stop this feeling Deep inside of me Girl, you just don't realize What you do to me